before it's kind of recommendation that we will, uh, we will do. But before that, I would like to say that he was a fantastic man. I think the subject talking about human resources was great. It's so important for us. We are service in this case. Mm -hmm. and I like what uh, Michael said at the end, that uh, usually we spend a lot of time in the infrastructure in this. <coughs> that was the most, and uh, Michael said that uh, there is a lot of investment that is more important, or as important as uh, infrastructure, as human research. That's so great. Uh, together with uh, my colleagues, there is uh, some recommendation that has been prepared. We will see if it's uh, if it's okay. We will probably review the whole the whole document and send you the, the whole document uh, in the box. Oh uh, yeah, I think we have to that. So uh, regarding the recommendation, first uh, we have seen that this is it is important for the industry to gain comprehensive situation awareness of its status and future needs. This can be gained through a series of study and needs analysis that focus on current industry standing and future prospects. This will include, but not limited to, salary level, level of uh, technology penetration, employee satisfaction, and mobility. Specific police policy and recommendation can be more effectively drawn and produce tangible and systematic results in the, long, in the long run if they are based on comprehensive data gathered through this study. International organization will be of importance in assisting with data gathering and helping to shape the question addressed by this study. Secondly, effective and systematic industry education partnership must be developed at national, regional, and even global level that will provide a framework for addressing future education and training priority for the industry. A framework such as the above mentioned can provide a flexible and sustainable means to address future industry needs. So, it is important that the aviation industry examine best practice found in other industry settings in regard to effective training, education regime, industry education partnership, as well as employee satisfaction and retention. Otherwise, the aviation industry may be out-competed by the best for the best talent by industry perceived as providing better opportunity for employment and advancement. Fourth, it is important to ensure that current aviation employees can be usefully redeployed or retrained. The acquisition of educational skills should prove flexible enough to accommodate technological disruption in a service sector aviation service sector such, such aviation. At the same time, the aviation industry must try recruit with the soft skill, such as customer service, very important, don't forget that we are a service industry, uh, that are also important for the industry. Moreover, education training in aviation should address gender balance, I think we talked about Talk about that, so this is a point we should also address. Finally, aviation uh, industry stakeholders should become more proactive in partnership with educational institutions, both traditional and more specialized. Then the final point I would like to address is the industry should carefully assess and address the repetition of risk arising from the negative environmental externalities to effectively inspire new generation to work in the sectors. Thank you very much. And, uh,